All right. So our friend Eri needs some help with uh, horizontal scrolling. As you can see, even on desktop, the problem is there. So I wrote a tutorial about this on my website, and there is a code to help you uh, debug this. So you can just click here to cut, copy the code. And then I use the inspect tool. You go in the console, and then you can just paste and click enter. All right, now you can go back to the elements. And now we can start to have a look. So if we scroll, now we see everything that is in order. And you can see the, the trouble elements. So in this case, it's quite easy to see what elements are causing the problem. So these two are, are definitely part of the problem. So let's begin by removing them. Let's find the, uh, the parent that contains, this is the, what uh, Chrome gave us when we right click and click on inspect. But we want to select the, the parent element that contains this. So this is not it, but this we can see is the most parent that contains. So now we will click here on the plus. And Set the display to none. All right, so this is already better. And let's add a look for this one. So let's add a new one. All right. In the network. Uh, only one would work if you write important. Uh, this one is not so necessary. All right. So now uh, we can already see that it's quite a lot better. And if we have a look at the desktop, it's, it's resolved. There is no more swimming for the desktop. There is still a bit of swimming left for mobile version, quite a bit. So let's go down and let's have a look what might be uh, going over overboard. Oh, here. So here it's the only other place where there are uh, extra elements. There is these icons, of course, but they are fixed. Uh, they are not the problem. They will just suggest for the viewport. So the form seems to be the problem. It seems to be a bit too wide. So let's try to see what happens if we remove it. So let's just select the whole section that contains the form and remove. Right. Now, now you can see there is still a bit left, but we don't see any more. The bar on the right, everything seems to be uh, where it belongs. So now we will have, uh, it's because the, pa the page probably needs to be refreshed. So now what we will do is get what we figured out, the code we figured out in the inspector style sheet. This is all the code we added now. We don't need that last part. Uh, it was just to get access. Let me show you. If you click here, then it gives you access to the inspector style sheet wherever you are. You can just click there, and it creates a new rule. Then you have access. So this is a kind of shortcut. But uh, yeah, uh, the, these are useless. They are em empty. So let's select the one we, and now if we just do a refresh, everything will disappear. So uh, 
cannot work this way. So I have a plugin uh, on Chrome where we can just add, add these. So there, let's save. So now this code will load every time. So if we just refresh the page, Oh, the page was loaded. <laughs> one of my uh, one of my selector. Uh, yeah, right. All right. Save. So it's always a good idea to double check your your code. All right. So now no swimming on desktop. and no swimming at all on mobile. So that's it. So the, the right way to fix this would be to use something else than absolute positioning for the buttons and the text. They were using absolute positioning. Uh, this caused all kind of problems, like you can see, mostly even more so on uh, mobile versions. And for the form, you could just, uh, you could probably use uh, set overflow to hidden on the section. You can see in my article how to how to do this. You go in the section and then overflow you set to hidden. This would take care of the section that contains the, the form. All right, thanks for watching.